Hello YouTube, before I do a quick video here, I made another mobile antenna. This one I made so it's not adjustable for SWRs. You have to trim the antenna. So you take a, a, a cutters and you literally cut the tip of the antenna a little at a time to get your SWRs lower. Well, <laughs> you know how that goes. I got it to where it was 1.5 and I decided to Let's try to get it lower than that. So I cut a little too much off. So now my stab areas were really high, but I have an easy fix. And uh, I'm going to post a link to the coupler. I made my own, as you'll see here in a minute for this video. I didn't want to wait. So I did find where you can buy a coupler to fix your problem. Um, you, got, you just got to know what size that you need, meaning what diameter of the wire you're working with, whether it's uh, you know eighth inch or what. So you need to know that. What a coupler does, it can make the antenna electrically longer. And like I said, I made this one. I trimmed it a little too much. So what happens is the SWRs went too high. But by just adding this coupler, it gave me the length I need to get my SWRs back to 1.5. Now I'm going to show you here. So let's go in the vehicle. Let's look at the meter here. And you can see 1.5. Now let me take that coupler off. Hold on. Take this off. And I'll show you the coupler up close. Take the coupler off. There's no coupler on that now I took it off the tip of the antenna and you can see my SWRs are 3.3 .3. so let me put this back up here so what I did is I just brazed two shaft collars together but like I said you can buy this so you don't have to worry about welding or soldering I'll post a link down below how this works is it goes at the tip of the antenna Okay, let me put it on there. And in my case, I didn't want to use element screws. The link that I'm going to give you will have element screws. But I just clamp it on there, and that gives me the length that I need. Now, if I would have cut this too short, I could take the piece that I cut off and stick it at the other end. And now, I could trim this piece, take it off, and trim it down as I need to, put it back in there, and tighten it back down. So... That's how you fix that. Now, if your antenna's got a coating on it, you might want to take some sandpaper and sand it off so that you get a good connection. Mine does not, but you know, keep that in mind. But yeah, you just put that on there, tighten this down, and I don't need that because this, this gave it the length that I needed, and that's how I fix a high SWR uh, antenna, and uh, you know, it'll work good. So. Like I said, I'll post a link down below so you can buy this. You don't have to make it like I did. I didn't want to wait, so I decided to make it quick. I will also post a link on how to convert it because the website, the eBay seller that I found this on goes by uh, millimeters. And I believe uh, eighth inch is about three millimeters, but there is a website that you can convert that to so you can convert you know, fractions or decibels or whatever to millimeters. And that is the diameter, what I mean by millimeters, just to be clear, is the diameter of the wire of your antenna. You gotta make sure you get the right one. This is eighth inch diameter, so I got the three millimeter uh, couplers. I call them couplers. They're actually, I forget the listing, was actually meant for some boat, RC boat shafts or something. It don't matter as long as it's metal. As long as your coupler is metal, uh, you can use any, any coupler to, to do this. But, uh, but yeah, just make sure that you don't got no paint on your antenna. My one antenna had a coating on it, so I had to say, take sandpaper and sand it off. But, uh, but yeah, that's how you do that. So if you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. And please subscribe. Thank you and have a good day.